No, they can't get through there. You are. Right. Um, there's many different ways. I like to start all my speeches off and stuff like that. Many with different ways to do things, okay? Um, there's different opinions in beekeeping, and there's different ways that people like smokers, there's different ways people keep bees. Um, this is the way I like the smoker. It's worked for me for many years. So what I do is I get the empty smoker, make sure we have some good airflow in it, and I just get a small handful of pine straw and ball it up kind of tight and pull the extras off. And I light the bottom of it and get it going. And then set it in there like that right there. And what I do is I get a decent base fire going. And I give it a little bit of air. And I make sure this fire gets pretty decent and good, you know, good heat to it and decent smoke coming out of it. And I let it go for a little while. And I'll push it down in there. And I'll slowly add more and more and more to it. And by the time you get it good and packed, it'll almost be packed tight and fine strong. And you'll have a good smoke. Once you get a good smoker lit, it should last for a good long time. As long as you got good pine straw. Good long time is how much? 20 minutes? Or? Uh, a big smoker like this, I use it a lot. It's got a lot of resin in it. It'll stay lit all day. Mm -hmm. But I have to add to it periodically if I'm using it. We won't pack this one too tight because I don't think we're going to need it very long. But. Yeah, buddy. Nope. No. Look at that. Watch it out. Let's put it out. the weather. Oh. Key to lighting the smoker is patience. They sell uh, an electric smoker. It has a 9-volt battery in it. You can find them in a the magazine. For people like Ryan that can't get a smoker done. <laughs> 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 I got one for Chappie this Christmas. There you go. Looks like success to me. He couldn't sell it. Now, he can really buy it. Now, he's Get it good and going. Oh, get another thing about smokers, I try to keep them, keep the straw kind of in it so the edge doesn't get built up with tar. Pull the extra around and just keep it going. Usually after the first time you pack it and light it, it'll burn out pretty quickly sometimes. You just add to it. Smoke a little bit underneath it and pull it open. I always knock the lid down, too, to knock the bees back in the box, in case the queen's on the lid. Again, that's me. Chaffin makes a good point. Sometimes the queen will get on the lid, smoke them, and then knock them back down in the box. You're, you're going to kill bees when you expect. I mean, that happens. But, but that queen, could, well, we don't want to lose the queen. Kill a couple more. These right here are beetle traps. I didn't see any beetles when I cracked this hive open. Oh, but just like I showed you showed yeah. me that beetle that you had. Yeah. Yep, these are traps that you can put in your hive. Oh, wow. um, yeah. And they work so Don't hold it over the trap. That one's all rotted away. And dry it out. Throw it away, Ryan. Maybe you don't want to? No. Okay. Um, just don't spill any oil down in there. You can help it. That's dry. Yeah, so you want to be very careful trap. with these beetle traps because um, you put cooking oil or vegetable oil in them. So you want to pick them up very even. We can, do you mind if I pass this around? Jeff? No, but you never set a smoker on top of your bees because yeah. you will cook a lot of heat. Yeah, you can. Yeah. Smoker's not hot enough yet. But, um, we'll pass this around a little bit. And you can see the black beetles in there. Um, Did those come from bees? Yes. These are those cut beetle blasters. Um, in this weather, they should be stinging all the They're good bees. First thing I like do, yeah, I, I want to see how many frames I have that are full. So that you know the Looks like there's two good. unused frames here. And I like to tell That's beekeepers right. to go ahead and start on the outside. Start on the outside and get this outside frame opened up and moved out of the way. You sit and stand right in front of a hive, but you can move in and get closer and get yeah. And you'll see they make propolis on the corners and seal this up. That's like the masonite, the building material of the hive is the propolis. And so you'll have to break that off a little bit, open it up. 
He's got it. He's going to be sweet for us tonight. So, so can get be. Keep an eye open there, Dan. Let's see how nice these bees are. Be Somebody asked me, where do you get all the bees? All right. We'll show you this right here. This is a good hive. Everybody see right here at the edge of my hive tool? Actually, we'll do this right here. Oh. This is a drone bee. It doesn't have a stinger. This is a male. Um, it's a bigger bee. He has a little bit more of a bulbous butt to him. A queen will be bigger, but she'll have a tapered tail in. Come on, hold him. Doesn't have a stinger. You gotta close your hand quick. You ready? Go. There you go. All right. We got any other kids want to hold one? <laughs> you can pass them around a little bit. Eat it because I've had kids eat them. They think it tastes like honey. One of the things a lot of people are confused about is when we talk about drawing out wax, okay? We talk about drawing comb, and us beekeepers that do it a lot and take it for advantage, we don't realize that you don't understand. I'm hold that for you. But what it is, you see right here, this is just regular plastic, though, okay? There's no thing, this is how you're going to get it from Day Damp, Man Lake, or whoever you order it from. And then they'll draw it out like this. It's the perfect example of how they'll draw that wax out. And so now it's usable. Everybody see that? Mm -hmm. And they're getting ready for that to be filled with eggs. They're with already eggs. filling it with nectar. Yeah, they're already... Oh, I'm sorry, This, these are the outside ones, so they yeah. get the... Okay. They'll probably put nectar in it. Mm. Later Except on in the spring, brood might make it out that far. There's orange on that one. Yeah. Or orange. Pollen. Mm. Pollen? Is okay. that pollen? The pollen will be orange, yellow, green, purple, red, white. Mm. 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 Orange and half in. Now, if he kills the queen, I'm uh, not dead. <laughs> Everybody can look right here and look. This one here has pollen on its leg. And that's how they bring the pollen back to the hive. Um, they're starting to grow this one up with nectar. That one there's got some pollen. Um, this is fresh. This frame's probably from last few weeks or so. Um, you can see it's real light colored. Um, you know, they're growing it out real good. Uh, we have a good drone count. That's your, the male bee, like I said. The only purpose that he serves in the hive is for breeding. And the breeding purposes will actually take place outside of the hive, the drone congregation. Do the drones die? The drones, after they mate, they die because their abdomen actually comes it is a barn. exposed, I guess. They have to open themselves up to get their male reproductive organs out. Well, you see how they glued that down? Just mm -hmm. in a couple of weeks. I mean, these bees, they work. They seal everything. That's all the, this is yeah. sealed. That's all propolis. That, it's all sealed in the corners here. Yeah. And they'll actually, that's one of the first things they do when you put a frame in. You don't pry over here because you'll break the box off. Yep. Mm -hmm. like these, uh, and when you grab it, I, I use bare hands, but um, a lot of people feel more comfortable with gloves or something. These bees are so nice, you can probably work them out. Mm -hmm. You can, they're nice bees. So pull out real slow. It has a lot to do with the speed you pull your frame out. Well, that's a perfect frame to show what they have. All right. Here, we got, this is Captain Brood here, okay? We'll pull some of this back to you guys. You can see the little larva of the head right there. Yeah. Little bee's head right in there. Get in there close oh, to do that again. Got one in your shirt, Ryan. Uh, he'll be all right. I'm going to take it from Chappie. Don't tell him. I'm going to take it home. And then you can see, if you get out here to this outside edge, you really get close. You can see it looks like small miniature grains of rice in there. Yeah. And that's actually the eggs. And you can tell it goes from old to young. She works in a circular pattern to the outside of the frame. And that's what we look for. We look for a good, strong pattern like that. We know that's a good laying queen. And around the outside edges, these bees have a lot of pollen on them. Pollen is protein. It takes two things to grow a life form. Protein and carbohydrates. Pollen is your protein source. Honey is your carbohydrate source. Okay? And Kathy will probably cuss me, but we'll do this. No, I don't pick this Um... We'll go ahead, we'll dig some of this pollen out and show it to you. That's actually bee bread. What they do is they'll, I'm not sure exactly how they do it, but they they run it and reaper um, They add enzymes. Yeah, they add the their enzymes from their body and different glands and stuff. And then they, they spit on it. They, they, they spit on it. They spit it out. It's bee juice. It's the same as if they eat pollen, the same as we eat pollen, it goes right through your body. You yep. can't digest one. They coat it over with a little bit of honey. They add enzymes when they bring it back. And it breaks down. It starts what we call fermentation. But it's breaking it down, and then we call it bee bread. And that's what they feed those larvae. 
I'll tell you when to no. smoke them, okay? When you open the brood cell like that, are they going to repair that? No, or they're they're gonna, no, they'll, they'll pull that her out. And they'll relay. pull that one out. And relay. Yeah, you okay. can see, you can see there's some that haven't been fully capped over yet. Uh huh. And he just, he just wanted to kill one. I just wanted to kill one to check his bees. Um, no, how about first time. how about yeah. the pollen? The, you said they will repair, they'll repair that. They'll repair yeah, that. Yeah, they'll repair but that. But a brood cell, they're going to pull that yeah. larva out. Yeah, because they think there's something it. wrong with it. Right. Okay. Um, you can see the difference between an older bee and a younger bee. The real young bees have a lot of hair on them, like this one right here at the corner of my high school. Yep, a little fuzzy bee. And the older ones will have, bee has a negative energy field around. Back up just a little bit and shoot me some smoke on them, buddy. You never want to there you go. smoke real close because embers will come out and burn wings off the bee. And see, we can see this bee right here. Kind of looks like a zombie bee, okay? That bee right there was just freshly hatched this morning, probably. And she can't sting you if you pick her up. You have, well, I shouldn't know She can, but her stinging muscles aren't really developed. So she can't sting you. She can't sting you. Um, but one of these other guys will. Even if she did sting you, it wouldn't hurt as bad because there's not that much venom in her. Exactly. Bed. When you're talking about the uh, drones and picking them up and not being able to sting it, can they uh, pinch you or bite you? No, they can't do anything to you. can bite, but that's... Let's never smoke on for me, and buddy. you never set frames on the ground. Here we are, but you can buy frame hangers or make them and just drive two nails in the side of your side, and you can hang those frames there. Oh, okay. And well, no, because one more if frame the fire ants get on them, you're just put them back in the box. How would yeah. you locate the uh, This is good for your own uh, Um, I'll show you. It takes a lot of practice to start locating queens and stuff. This one here, see this popcorn stuff here? That's a lot of drone brood. Okay? That's drone brood and that's regular brood there. So you can see the difference. Okay. Can you see this edge right here? Do you see how that capping is puffed out like that? That's drone brood. But won't that include? Alright, everybody go look right here. This is what I get a lot of questions about. This frame Yeah, well, that's no, that's a natural comb. I let it go. Everybody can look right here in this corner. Close this look right there, buddy. This is the queen. The queen cell. Queen cell. There you go, it's perfect. Everybody see, this is a queen cell cup, okay? They'll put these in the hive just in case something were to happen. They don't have to build that cup real fast, and they'll use it. Doesn't mean your hive's going to swarm. When it pulls down and looks like a peanut, that's when you know you have a queen cell fully made. Is that the queen right there? Yeah, that's her. All right, throw me some smoke right here, buddy. Back up just a hair, about like this. Puff it. There you go, perfect. Good job, that's good. <laughs> That's a short frame, Ryan. I put in. All right, everybody, look right here at my thumb. That's the queen right there. Ah, the queen. Yep. The queen. The queen. The queen. The queen. The queen. <laughs> queen. Right here. Captain Chill. Right there. Whoa. She's right here. Oh, yeah. She's a little bit bigger. Yeah. yeah, she can sting you. She's, she's the only one that can sting you over and over, but she doesn't want to. She doesn't have venom, and she was, I've been doing this for a long, long time, catching queens by hand, and I've only been doing once in my life. Does, does her body have not have stripes like the rest? Um, they sometimes do. they do, and sometimes they don't. With that queen right there, sometimes we'll call her a blondie. What? She's kind of a solid-looking yellow queen. Yeah. I'm um, sorry, show the queen again. <laughs> she didn't see. <laughs> Gotta find her. If you didn't see the queen, come up, work your oh, way I up see. front here, and we'll I show see. it to you. Her body's a little bit longer. I don't mind. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Yes. Like around over here. Oh yes, yes. So you put a split a high now she is, right? You put a split that high. Take the queen and all the work. I would give this I would give this hive a couple more. Hold that up. We need that more field. Yeah, I'd get more beautiful hive. Yeah, picture that. Oh, yeah. How you doing with the hat? That's exactly right. I'm going to close that along. I can't even see the hat. Hey, Ryan, I'm going to show you a fast way to mark a queen. She's marked. See the white on her? Want to get her better? 
Whoops, I marked the butt job. <laughs> you don't want to really mess her wings up and the legs and everything. Oh, I see. They're going to clean her head. up. See, she yeah, just got no, enough. Now, this I guy see. here, this is just a drone. It doesn't, doesn't matter about him. Wings in comparison She's more. To the other. So you're just trying to put this one on. You always want to keep your brood fat in a pack. You don't ever want sheets of brood laying on the outside or anything like that. What's that? Oh, okay. Say, you want to pick it up? Just so easy. Just pick it up. 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 Just pick and what I do when I get done, and it's a lot of method and process, what I do from get them, draw them burr comb and everything else, is I'll put my frames in there all gentle, and I'll come and I'll push everything to one side. How do you get to these white drones? I talk real quick. Waiting for them to raise their own queen and a honey flow, you lose a lot of honey. Definitely. Yeah. Make it a lot cheaper, though. Yeah, it is. You can find a reliable local source, you know, you can get one back in there pretty quick. But sometimes, you know, that time of year, it's hard to hard to get a hold of one. One thing about bees, working bees, is um, the temperament of your bees can change overnight, okay? Um, just one thing you want to keep in mind, that a queen mates with anywhere from 20 to 25 different drones, okay? That temperament is coming from that drone's genetic trait. Um, she stores the semen in her in levels, so she'll actually lay from one drone, and then she'll reach to the next drone level, and lay from the next drone level. Right, we can go back in where it's cool and out of the way, and everybody can hear better. Well, we go back inside. Uh,